Or best known for his skating in the vert ramp, but Matt Salerno also a threat on street. Let's get over there to the street course for the finals, guys. Well, Chris, not a lot of people know this, but Matt Salerno is moonlighting here on the street course, competing in the finals. He's one of the two skaters also competing in vert. Today, it's the men's aggressive inline street final. With a street course this massive, you almost need a map and compass to find your way through. Nikki Adams is one of the many skaters we talked to, and he actually knows where he's going to be going. I'm going to do a quadruple backflip from there to there. No, just kidding. Right, first of all, I start off from the starter box. I hit this um, the ramp. I'm going to start with a flat spin, 360. Come up here, fake you 720 bio, land on the deck. I just drop in, and I go. I do a 540, natural 540 over the rail. And then I'll do hit the box, switch 540. And then I'll just gun it into this corner and just pump out of it. Lunch, box. Keep the same line, but add more technical tricks to it. A couple of grind variations in here. You know, and another grind on the box here. Yes, sir. <laughs> he has been the young upstart this year. Everybody's eyes are focused on our next skater. It's Canadian Nikki Adams. He has a definitely a different line, well thought out. Chose to start in a slow part of the course, and then head through the rhythm section because that could build speed. Just his style when he skates through the course, it's almost like a gangster trip. <laughs> Such ah, smoothness. Bio 720. The judges definitely look for definition. Every single trick, if you can nail the grab and hold it all the way through rotation, you're going to earn more points for style. I think he said earlier was feeling a lot of pressure. Many of the skaters coming up and saying, hey, you can do this. Trying to block out the crowd. The fact that he's here at the X Games. Wow, this run is awesome. I think he succeeded in that. Two souls and a nice royale. <laughs> little authority there. Slap in the sub box. Finish it off. Sick, sick run. That is how it's supposed to be down here in San Francisco. The crazy for not showing us how to do it. 15 tricks, including this beautiful grab 720 over the box, getting bio. That's his feet up over his head. Then kicking out Liu Kang on the 450 transfer. He did so many grinds there. A nice bin sole. Seven different grinds there, the front side royale all the way across the planter. The Canadian packs in more tricks than any skater we've seen up to this point. He now sits in first place. Ten skaters, each gets 65 seconds. We see how many tricks they can pack it all in. The best run will count here today in the finals. We've been feeling the threat from down under all week long here. This next skater, it proved why we need to worry about the, all the skaters from Australia. It's Blake Dennis. So creative, planting on top of the rail, 360 off. Then backwards through the rhythm section. That is so hard to do because there's no time between ramps. He goes from transition to transition. And with such sick style, so squatty on the pack. Barely missing the cameraman, coming off the ledge though, doing the entire eight foot long ledge. Blake's one of the most technical skaters. A true street skater. Oh. And there's that squatty signature Dennis style. Just back to back. Here's a kid that the Australians were touting as one of the best. He showed up to the X Games in Thailand, the X Trials event, and beat all of the pros. Packing a lot of tricks in his run, but Blake Dennis appears to be skating a little bit slower than he normally does. And the judges are going to let him keep that as well. The backside UFO all the way down the rail. <laughs> Nine lip tricks, some of them very unorthodox there, spinning up, 360 off the rail. The difference between Blake...
Dennis and so many of the other skaters is that he rotates in and out of grinds so easily. Then he finishes off nice and simple as time runs out with a backside UFO. The Sydney native racks up as many tricks as Nikki Adams and now sits in first place. One of the wonders from Down Under, Matt Salerno. When we come back to the pier, we're going to make him drop in. Oh yeah, welcome back everyone. It is the Men's Aggressive Inline Street Final. We are in the midst of the first runs. The top seated skaters are about to drop in. Just before his run, Aaron Feinberg was laying a little ink on his skin, getting a tattoo San Francisco style. He is a previous X Games Gold winner, and he will be taking his first run here in the street finals. Aaron starting off in Pleasure Island. Another very different line there, right into a Savannah. Very few skaters know how to put together a better line than Aaron. He has more street wins than any other skater in aggressive skating. He's the number one street skater in the world. And you can see why. Great variety. Ten feet off the deck. Up the street course, a huge backflip over the box. But he continues to back up with technical lip tricks. Oh! You don't see that often, but look at how quickly he gets back up. Almost scorpion on that fall. Feels coming back in the, the back side of the helmet. Aaron definitely not feeling this course. He said he didn't like it. He thought that he just wasn't skating well yesterday. Then he said, you know, I just don't like the course. It's too slow. I'm gonna venture to say he's feeling a little fatigued. They have the power to jump up that sword transfer. Big 720, then going for a topside soul grind. Just missed it, but he gets another run. This is what he did last year. It helped him win the X Games two years ago. Aaron Feinberg with the huge backflip. He's been doing it for two years, but boy, does he make it look pretty. Great consistency early on. Then here, trying to rotate around a soul grind. He just missed the coping entirely. Aaron Feinberg now sits in third place. Sitting high atop the quarter pipe. It's Australian skater Matt Salerno. He's been here before. The question is, can he put together a run to beat so many other great skaters here today? Well, he skates with more speed than anyone. He's able to generate the most height. Spins both directions. He's got all the ingredients. He came out of Half Moon Bay there with about three times as much speed as he went in with. That definitely prefers skate parks and street courses over real street. And this poses a little bit of a challenge for him, but here he's in his element. The whoopie do The rhythm section. This is the highest paced run we've seen so far here today. Little knees and grind spinning around 270 off the planter. There's some small obstacles, but if they can do the technical tricks on those ones, they're going to rack up the points. Sticks the topsail up on the quarter pipe, right the other way around. He does not wait one single hit. And uncharacteristically stopping three seconds before the end of the run. John, he's intentionally doing that. He wants us to think that he's actually tired. But he's really not. Believe it or not, only 12 tricks for Matt Salerno. Look at the beautiful style grabbing all the way around on the 540 degree spin. Then up on top of the vert wall, a top sole. Then he goes right back into a sole grind on top of the sub box. Who cares if it's almost 10 feet off the ground? Fortunately for Matt Salerno, it is the best run that counts here in the finals. He sits in third place. So this is how everyone rolled into their first runs. Chiaki Ito sits in fifth place. In first place, the Australian Blake Dennis. Keep in mind, though, the best run counts in the second runs when we return. 
right behind that street course, the vert ramp where Tony Hawk made history. And now, it's time, time again for X, X, X Games. Three, here goes. Welcome back, everyone, to Thunderdome. It's men's aggressive inline street final. This is how the top five skaters stacked up after their first run. Right now, let's check out some second run action. He's got a Bio 900 flip in his arsenal. Whether or not he will use it today is yet to be seen. Oh, a little fast plant coming out of the rhythm section. This is where you're going to see Nikki Adams pull out all the stops. The same line as in the previous and in his previous final run. Huge 720 kicking up the feet just like the last one. Sam Alama smacks it over the box. You gotta love that. He said one of his biggest challenges was to beat Aaron Feinberg. Right now he sits two places ahead of him, just behind Blake Madison first. If this run continues on par, he can find himself walking back to Canada, or rolling for that matter, with X gold. Just nailing it. Beautiful. Royale did both souls real nice. It's all about weight distribution. You've just got to have the confidence and you can't hesitate. It's going to be all about the benefits for Nikki Adams. One fall there just on the ledge, but right at the end of his run. How good can it get here at the 1999 Summer X Games? That's how good. Nikki Adams is going to be a superstar. Look at that, kicking out Liu Kang. He knows how to just stoke the crowd out. Boom, great rotation, good control, all the way down and huge amplitude landing halfway down the box. The nice bin sole, one of the most progressive tricks you can do on street right now. And the Royale, he's one of the only skaters to use that piece of the course. The crazy cannot the young upstart, Nikki Adams, 76.50. That puts him in first place. This is an odd situation for Aaron Feinberg to be in. Right now, he sits in fifth place. He's one of the winningest skaters of the tour. He's playing catch up right now. Trying to make his way to first place. He won here two years ago in San Diego on his 16th birthday. He won street last week on his birthday in Milwaukee. But this is the big time. Big old backflip. But Aaron always qualifies in the top three heading into the finals. And because of that, he has an advantage because all the onus is on him. That's where he fell in his first run. He nailed it this time with the soul. Consistency is up on this run for Aaron Feinberg. Let's see if he gets the soul. Bobbles a little bit, but makes the jump in. Oh, oh! oh! 360 up, jumping back down around. He knows he needs the trunk card on this run. That's one of them. Fakey 720 spinning around 900. Well, he had a 68 in his first run. Same kind of backflip in his first run, but he had so many other tricks in his second run that he didn't nail in the first, including this. The last time he came off of that, he landed on his head. This time, beautiful. Here, 360, 180 off, landing a little bit low, but that is huge. Nine and a half feet, totally blind. Aaron Feinberg, 12 tricks in his second run, eight in his first, enough to push him up to third place. One of the members of the new breed, Nikki Adams, only one skater can catch him, the vet, Australian Matt Salerno. Matt is going to pull it all out. He is so fast. He knows what he has to do to win. They're spinning 540 degrees unnaturally. Would not be Nikki Adams right now watching Matt's run here. 
starting off. Look at the speed. <laughs> 1995, this is the guy that won. Check that out, beautiful front side. That is so hard to do. It's one of the oldest tricks that you've learned on street. But it's also one of the most difficult because it's so hard to balance. Transfer going to the big slash dance of the second season for Braille. This is one of the many tricks Matt Salerno's locking on here today. This is the 98th Street World Champion. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Almost missed on the top so completely, but somehow, like a cat, landing back in the street. No longer known as the Wombat, he will be the Elgato. The cat of the street floors, Matt Salerno. Matt is going to do it. Whoa. Unbelievable spins. Look at the height he gets. He cleared the rail by a good six feet. Then grabbing around on the 540 degree rotation, he spun the opposite direction. He has all the tools to win a contest. Here, the nice slash dance, front side grind down the rail. He never lost his speed in the run. Total control all the way throughout. Unfortunately, the wonder kid from down under, Matt Salerno, his second score, 70.75. He will not even be able to bump into the top three. Nikki Adams, however, ecstatic. The Canuck, his first time here at the X Games. And he wins X Game gold. <laughs> Well, folks, that is going to do it for the men's aggressive inline street final. The bronze goes to Aaron Feinberg, the silver to Australian Blake Dennis, and the gold, it goes to one of the new breeds, Canadian skater Nikki Adams. He came out to this street course, skated like a true champion, showing all the vets where the direction of skating is going. Nikki Adams, a true ex-champion. It's the best post-victory reaction at X99 so far. Nikki Anna.